Salutation friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 fragrances that I think are amazing scents that smell so good in wintertime, and they're kind of under the radar, a little bit of hidden gems. So if you'd like to know what I think and which fragrances those are, then keep watching. Now, nine out of the 10 of these scents I purchased, one was given to me, and I will let you know which one that is, but it was not given to me for this video, it was given to me a few years ago. But as always, for transparency, I like to let you know where things come from. So you see, as, as we get into colder weather, every season you see a flurry, a frenzy, a, an abundance of list videos from us fragrance reviewers telling you guys which fragrances we love for these months. And I thought it might be fun to share with you a list of uh, fragrances that are really good for colder months like autumn and winter that are under the radar that are fragrances that maybe a few years ago people really loved or people don't really consider them to be good for winter time but they're really fantastic and just some like not hyped scents but do a really fantastic job of just being beautiful scents that perform amazingly during colder months so let's get into it now there is no particular rhyme or reason to this list but the first two I'm going to share from you I did a review on I think like two years ago and it was from Penhaligans and it's Agar Bethy and Pythani. These are both very heavy scents. They've got a common milk note in them that kind of ties them together. One is kind of the milk that they put over the statues. The other one is representative to the milk teas. And just these two scents are absolutely beautiful. If you wanna know a little bit more about them, the history, uh, how they came to be a little bit more about the notes and their performance i'll link the review down below that i did but these are just two scents that are so beautiful now penhaligans is a house that has been around for a very long time and a lot of people know them they're very familiar with them but these two scents are not ones that you see a lot of people talking about because penhaligans library is so extensive that just it's kind of hard to really have a grasp of the entire library and everyone's recently really been talking about the portraits collection which is beautiful but do not let these two get away from you they're really really beautiful uh agar bethy has just kind of really this one was originally my favorite but this one just over time has just really stolen my heart they're beautiful scents they're smoky there's a little bit of sweetness in there there's a little bit of milkiness in there and they're just absolutely fantastic scents that work really well in colder months another scent that's really beautiful that is from a house that a lot of people love a lot of people um in the beauty world not just fragrance but makeup this entire line of skincare and makeup and bath goods is considered to be the most successful just in regards to its buying power its popularity um, and i'm a fan of some of their products some of them eh, some of them i love it's touch and go for me but this particular scent and their scents in general i do like is from philosophy and this is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. Now, Fresh Cream has been around for a very long time. It smells like, to me, like cream soda. It's just, if you love gourmand scents and you're looking for an inexpensive, beautiful fragrance, you can't go wrong with that scent. Amazing Grace, Pure Grace, all those scents are fantastic. But there's just something about warm cashmere that kind of, I think, steps it up a notch. It makes it a little bit more, I think, a little bit more fragrance less one-dimensional but still really beautiful um, and I just really love this scent it's kind of more of a butter beer and less of a cream soda like vibe to me which I really dig and it just is a beautiful beautiful scent that works well really fantastically in cold months another scent that actually I'm gonna just grab the two of these both of these scents are in no way um, strangers to my channel. This house is in no way strangers to my channel. This is my favorite indie house and I've talked about this house for a very long time. I absolutely love it. I'm in no way affiliated with them. I'm in no way, uh, like we don't partner together. They don't say here are free bottles. These are things I purchased. This is a house that I purchased a long time ago. I absolutely loved and I still, to this day, like I'm always blown away whenever I smell things from them. And these two scents specifically still are amazing scents and this house deserves a lot more love in regards to just its fragrances. Anyway, I'm talking in circles. The two scents from Cindy's Labs, it should be no, <laughs> should be no 
surprise that that's the house I'm talking about. And these scents should be no surprise to you. My two favorite scents from the house are Absinthe 9 and Forgive Not Forget. You see this one a lot and you see this one a lot. And I really kind of want to like drive into you guys that if I love a fragrance and it's still a year later is a favorite, it's gonna be a part of the list over and over and over again. I'm not gonna try and fill spots and push other fragrances out of the way to make room for new fragrances. If I still think a fragrance is worth being a part of these lists, it's going to be a part of these lists. And that's why these scents are a part of it. This you smell like a sexy lumberjack. It's so good. And this one, just the licorice in here, the tolum balsam, just the star anise. It's just such a beautiful scent. And it smells so enchanting on the skin. Both unisex fragrances, both fantastic. Both are magical in cold weather. If you're looking for something a little bit more high end and unique, but still want something very wearable, Dahab from Min New York is amazing. Now this was not given to me to review. I did get this in a swap. I have two scents from them, the Botanist and Dahab, and I am just blown away by everything I've tried from them. This scent is smoky and it's just got that little hint of floral in there. It kind of smells like, like ritualistic burning wood that you would smell in like a temple. It's just really kind of transportive and otherworldly while at the same time being very wearable and I absolutely love this one. If you also want something that's unique and different and special and works beautifully, beautifully in cold weather, forbidden from House of Matriarch, and yes, I purchased this too. This fragrance is definitely unique in the fact that it is a very heavily indolic, almost kind of like super over-ripened tuberose scent. The white florals in this are very indolic, very heavy, if you guys know what that smells like. It's got a lot of earthy, vegetal um, notes in here, but it comes together to create something really spectacular and really beautiful. I wouldn't say that it's a challenging scent, but do sample this one first. But if you like unique, interesting, olfactive experiences and you're looking for something beautiful to wear in cold weather, this one just kind of smells absolutely enchanting and amazing. It's just, it's, it blew me away the first time I smelled it. This one actually, I like. I haven't talked much about this scent. I picked this up on a whim. It's from Jaka's Fath, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, we were selling it at work on sale. I picked it up for a few bucks and, um, or I picked it up for like 10, 15 bucks. And I really like it. Uh, it's Belle Ambre Parfum from Fast Essentials and it smells really good. There's a bit of a ambery note in here. It almost feels like there's an anise vibe, um, a little bit woody, rich, light on the skin, a little bit powdery at the dry down. And I don't see many people talking about this house. I don't know much about this house, but as a fragrance, as something that works well in cold weather, I've been loving this. I've been spraying this when I go to work. Sometimes I'll throw it in my bag. Uh, if I'm just going out and I'm not sure how I'm gonna smell or if my fragrance is gonna last throughout the day, it's just been something I've been grabbing and wearing and really enjoying. This next one was given to me and it was given to me uh, when I went to Dallas with uh, Gorilla Perfumes and it's cardamom coffee. Now, there's a lot of scents from Gorilla Perfumes that I could have be a part of this list, rent list, I'm home, what is love. All of those are really beautiful scents that work well in cold weather, but I wanted to talk about something unique and one of the fragrances that you don't see a lot of people talking about. And I think cardamom coffee is a perfect example. This one you smell it is a little disjointed, but in a positive way. It smells aromatic from the cardamom. You've got the coffee. There's a little bit of bitterness. There's kind of like a zesty twang to this, like tannic acid, like you know when you brew coffee and it kind of needs a little bit of milk, but you don't put it in because you kind of like that twang. That's what this scent smells like. It's so good, specifically on the skin. There's something about it that just blooms on the skin. And it's just really delicious and very aromatic and that coffee and that cardamom just come together to create a really beautiful experience. It smells so good. I still love this scent so, so much. And definitely um, if you like Gorilla fragrances and you're looking to get something different and unique, definitely give cardamom coffee a go. 
Last and certainly not least is one of the scents from this house that completely blew me away. And every time I try a scent from this house, I'm always wowed by them. I mean, some of them I definitely like more than others, but this one particularly just completely owns me. And it's from The Harmonist and it's Hypnotizing Fire. There is something about this scent. There's a nuttiness, there's a sweetness, there's a spiciness, there's an aromatic smoothness about this scent. It's so good and it smells so amazing on the skin. It is so sexy. It's like the sexiest scent from this entire list. Uh, this house is definitely, some people have tried it. I know Sebastian from Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews has kind of gotten into this house. This is a house that I absolutely love. I only own four fragrances from them. I'm definitely looking to expand. If you like unique wearable scents that have a kind of a really beautiful twist to them, every single scent I've tried from them has had this kind of unique little twist to them that's been really interesting and beautiful to wear, but it's still very wearable and approachable. And Hypnotizing Fire, I think, is a beautiful, very sexy, alluring scent for men or women that you could wear in the colder months. In any case, guys, that's my list. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you guys think of this list. Do you agree with all these fragrances? Do you not agree with any of these fragrances? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, if I don't have a review of any of these scents and you want a review sooner rather than later of any of these fragrances, let me know which fragrance that is in the comment section below. And I'd also know, love to know your thoughts. What fragrances do you think are beautiful hidden gems that work well in fall and winter? In case, guys, I thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you can be notified when I have new videos up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.